Welcome everybody. Today we are gonna do the converse of the triangle law of forces. In the previous video, we did the proof of the triangle law of forces. It stated that if three forces acting at a point can be represented in magnitude and direction by the sides of a triangle taken in order, then those three forces are in equilibrium. If you need to learn how that law was proved, then you could check it out. The previous video that I have uploaded on my channel and so today we are gonna do the converse of that law so uh, it would simply state that if any three forces are in equilibrium then those could be represented by the sides of a triangle let's just write it down so the converse of the triangle law of forces states that if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium, they can be represented by the sides taken in order of any triangle drawn so as to have its sides respectively parallel to the direction of the forces. So now let's just consider three forces P, Q and R. P force, Q force and R force. So these three forces are acting at a point O. So now uh, we need to represent these three forces by the sides of a triangle. Uh, that would be having its sides respectively parallel to the direction of the forces. So let us just represent this P force by this AB. Remember that the magnitude should be same. Uh, the magnitude of P force which is here should be same in this AB vector also. So this is uh, the AB vector represents the P force and now it is parallel to. You should also see this that it should be parallel and now uh, similarly we could draw the Q force on BC. It should be parallel and the magnitude should also be same. Okay so let us just assume that this is the Q force and this is the C point. So P and Q forces are represented by the AB and BC vectors. As we know that uh, forces P, Q and R are in equilibrium. So what does the equilibrium word means it simply means that the uh, resultant of these three forces would be equal to zero so if the resultant of the three forces is zero we could move one of the forces onto the other side of the equation let us suppose it is r so definitely the R force will be now equal to the resultant of the forces P and Q. But since it has been moved on to the other side of the equation, there would also come a negative sign with it. So we can simply write that uh, the force R is equal and opposite. It is equal and opposite to the resultant of the forces P and Q. So the force R it is equal and opposite to the resultant of the forces P and Q but we know that P force is represented by this AB vector and Q force is represented by this BC vector. So we could also rewrite it and state that uh, the force R is equal and opposite to the resultant of the forces AB vector and BC vector. 
Now to find the resultant of these forces AB vector and BC vector, we would have to complete this triangle. So let us just join the points A and C. So we can see that uh, we must draw this direction from C to A because we have done we have drawn this direction so that we could apply the triangle law of forces that we studied in the previous video uh, on this triangle ABC okay so uh, as there are three forces okay that are represented uh, by the sides of the triangle ABC AB vector, BC vector and CA vector. So these are the three forces represented by the sides of a triangle. So according to the triangle law of forces, these three forces will be in equilibrium too. So are you getting my point that if these three forces are in equilibrium, it would simply again mean that the resultant of these three forces would be zero. And suppose we bring CA vector onto the other side of the equation, then CA vector would also be equal to the resultant of the forces AB vector and BC vector and it would also be opposite okay so it would be equal and opposite to the resultant of the forces AB vector and BC vector so if we have a force R that is equal and opposite to the resultant of the forces AB vector and BC vector and similarly we also have another vector CA vector that is also equal and opposite to the resultant of the forces AB vector and BC BC vector so we can just simply say that this CA vector it represents the force R so let us just write it down that R is represented in magnitude because the magnitude is also same and direction by CA vector okay so this CA vector it represents the R force now uh, we can say that the sides AB BC and CA taken in order of triangle ABC represent the forces P, Q, R respectively. Now we know that the three forces P, Q and R th those were in equilibrium can be represented by the sides of the triangle ABC. Now let us just read the statement again. We needed to prove that if three forces acting at a point are in equilibrium then they can be represented by the sides of any triangle drawn so as to have its sides respectively parallel to the direction of the forces. We know in case of ABC triangle, uh, the P force, it's parallel uh, to the AB side of the triangle ABC and similarly the Q force, it is parallel uh, as the BC side and uh, in case of this R force we have proved that R is represented in magnitude and direction by CA vector so the R force is also parallel to this CA vector it is okay but we also know that when we started to draw this diagram we uh, you know took the magnitude also same we took the magnitude of this p force same when we draw this a b vector and in case of q also we took the magnitude same and in case of this r force we have proved that it is represented in magnitude and direction by the ca vector so this r force in magnitude it is also same as in this ca vector so in this triangle a b c the magnitude and direction of the force Forces, it's same but in the statement we simply needed to prove that these three forces that are in equilibrium can be represented by the sides of any triangle uh, with the condition only that 
द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फोर्सेस इज पैरल टू इट्स साइड्स सो इट नीड नॉट बी दैट द मैग्नीट्यूड शुड बी सेम सो इट विल यू नो वर्क इधर द मैग्नीट्यूड इज सेम और इट इज नॉट सेम द ओनली थिंग दैट वी नीड टू प्रूव दैट प्रूफ वॉज दैट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द फोर्सेज शुड बी पैरल टू दी साइड्स सो लेट्स जस्ट ड्रॉ एन अदर ट्राई एंगल ऑफ द द साइड्स ऑफ whose triangle would be parallel to the forces but the magnitude would not be same okay so let's just draw another triangle keeping in mind that we need to draw the sides of that triangle parallel to the forces respectively let these points be a dash b dash and c dash okay so this is a triangle uh, of which a dash b dash side it is parallel to that of p force and b dash c dash side it is parallel to that of q force and c dash a dash side it is parallel to that of r force so let us just write let a dash b dash c dash be any other triangle whose sides are parallel to the direction of the forces okay so if uh, these sides you know these are parallel to the direction of the forces respectively but we also know that uh, the sides of the triangle abc are also parallel to the uh, the direction of these forces respectively so we can just simply say that uh, the sides of the triangle a dash b dash c dash these are also parallel to the sides of triangle a b c which means that this a dash b dash side it is simply parallel to the ab side b dash c dash side it is parallel to the bc side and c dash a dash side it is parallel to the ca side of triangle abc the magnitude is different as you can clearly see but the sides of these two triangles are parallel to each other respectively so definitely we could also say that these two triangles that is triangle abc and triangle a dash b dash c dash are equangular equangular means that the angles of these two triangles are equal because the sides are parallel so we can say that these two triangles are equangular and hence similar so these two triangles are similar so we could say that the corresponding sides of triangle abc and triangle a dash b dash c dash are proportional as the sides are parallel but not same in magnitude so we could use this words proportional so the corresponding sides of triangle abc and triangle a dash b dash c dash are proportional so we know that the sides of triangle abc represent the forces p q and r and since the sides of these two triangles are proportional we could also say that the sides 
of triangle A dash B dash C dash also represent the forces P Q and R so I think we have proved the converse of the triangle law of forces as we have got a triangle triangle A dash B dash C dash whose sides you know are parallel to the direction of the forces and these three forces that are in equilibrium can simply be represented by the sides of this triangle so if any of you have not uh, gotten that how uh, this law has been proved or you have some kind of doubt you could simply ask me in the comment section from my side i have cleared all your doubts and so i would like to say thank you okay that's for today bye bye